everybody, it's Rocket Bomber NDB, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last part, we met the Princess of Destiny, known as Zelda, who sent us on a crazy journey to find three spiritual stones to stop the evil Ganon from taking over Hyrule. But for now, instead of finding the second spiritual stone, we're going to explore Kakariko Village a little bit, starting off with my favorite area in the entire game. That's right, question mark, with the best song ever. Dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee. Yep, this song is none ever beaten. Now why don't we talk to the suspiciously gay man with the freaky instrument. Go around, go around, and around, and around. What fun. I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around, around, go around, and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill, going around, and around, and around. Okay. Well, it seems like you're busy doing that, so we're gonna leave now. It's not like you're gonna become any important later on the game. Or is he? Alright, now with that out of the way, it's time to do a little something else. It's time to visit a very, very demonic place in many ways. That's right. You're visiting. Have you seen Mr. Dumby who lives in the graveyard of a. Oh, thanks for ruining the surprise, you stupid worker. <sighs> Peef, look at you. Welcome to the welcome to the graveyard. Most devastating place you will ever see. Wait, nah, I'm probably overreacting. And there's only one population right now. Little kids can go on the heart pounding grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, do that, I'm just imitating Dompy the gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not very heart pounding at all, am I? Hmm, let's check this out. The crest of the royal family is in scratch here. So I think there's one possible thing you want to do whenever you see this sign. Take out your ocarina and play a simple song. Uh, okay, this is embarrassing. I actually forgot the song. Let me just wait, this. Well, that was a little embarrassing. I actually forgot the song. What was it again? X. Okay, now I remember. All right. Yep, whenever you see a royal symbol, the Triforce, you always want to play Zelda's Lullaby. Well, most of the time. And what will happen when this song is played? Well, you will reveal a very, very, very dark and deep secret of the graveyard of Kakariko Village. A secret entrance. Well, there's only one possible answer to go do this thing. Geronimo! The Royal Family's Tomb. Well, let's check it out a little bit. Alright, so what you want to do is get rid of a couple of annoying enemies here. Basically, those bats. You just want to fire your, your nuts at them. And there is me describing my extremely bad aim. And once that is done, you can just... Climb up the stairs and open the door. 
and go into a really, really freaky room with a really, really freaky enemy. Oh my gosh, what is that? Huh. Freaking P.U. Oh my gosh, it's something out of a horror movie! Get off! Ah! It's attacking me! Oh my god, it's... The possession of humans. Wait, no, it's... Wait, forget it. Oh my god, what a couple of freaking freaks. Alright. So, what do we have here? Home is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. A rising summit of untrees set, a newborn life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. There, this is an interesting poem, huh? Something else is inscribed. Something else is inscribed on the tombstone. It's a secret melody of the poser, of the composer brothers. Keep the sun song in your heart. Well, let's play it. Oh. Wow, the notes are right in front of me. I'm messing it up. And that is the sun song. Yep, it is a very, very helpful song. It doesn't will really do anything towards the story, but it changes the day to the night and night to day. It's very helpful. Rest wandering souls where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Hmm. Well, those guys back there are a couple of freaking freaks who need to calm down a little bit. So I think we should use it on them. Alright, let's test it out. Oh, Sun Song, bring peace to these frickin' freak souls. And that will temporarily paralyze all these freaky zombie things from some freaky zombie movie. I do not watch a lot of horror movies for this one reason. Well, that's all we gotta do here. Let's return to the other world. Okay, I really need to get another heart. This beeping sound is annoying me to my limits. Makes me want to makes me want to stab myself with a pencil. Wait, I said no emos this video. <laughs> I'm I'm just kidding. Oh, huh, looks like it's nighttime. Well, I didn't expect for that, but well, I guess I can show you a cool thing. At nighttime, if you remember the last video. That carpenter boss, he said his son doesn't help him work, he just wanders around all day. And what do you know, his son is right there, being completely helpless. And, yeah, people are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting, he must be disgusting too. Yeah, with that face, you could be a supermodel. Yeah. So basically, his son is an emo kid. Alright, the next place I want to show is at nighttime only. On this ladder, you will see there's a very, very bugging surprise a gold sculptula. All right, just gonna climb up and grab our prize. Another gold Skulltula token. Aw, oh, man, I just got free of that noise. Oh, great. Well, now that I got this gold Skulltula token, I think it's a... Huh. What do you know? Another gold Skulltula. And I actually forgot that was there. 
Well, I guess that's another gold Skulltula token. Okay. Well, now that we've got two gold Skulltula tokens, I guess we can get into this room right here. To prove the gold Skulltula's worth at the house of Skulltula. Oh, looks pretty freaky. That's well, just a house. It can't be. Oh my god, there's a spider! <laughs> Sorry, I got a little overreactive there. But spiders are freaking creepy, but I have never seen one that creepy. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear. Collect it as your proof of your achievement. The number next to the icon on the gear subscreen indicates how many spiders of the curse you have destroyed so far. When the icon is displayed next to the name of the area on the map subscreen, there is no more spiders in that area. Look for that not only out in the open, but also inside the dungeons. Of course, this is just a dream. You don't have to do it if you want to. If you break the curse of my family, we'll make you very rich. Yeah, the first time I saw that guy, I was freaking scared. So, how many do we have? We've got six so far. Yep. You get prizes for every ten gold skulltulas you get. Or save, or whatever. Oh, wow! Another gold skulltula! I didn't even know about this one. That's three in one video. That's a new record. Well, I think I want to make it daytime because I'm getting a little sick at night. So let's play the sun song and get back to our wonderful day. And for once, I can't forget it because I just learned it a couple of minutes ago. Alright. We're back in the sunlight of day. And then the freaky emo sun is gone and the... Big bad carpenter boss is back. Oh wow, a fairy! Cool. And fairies will completely restore your health. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm running out of time right here. So, in the next part, there are a couple more things I want to do with Kakariko Village. So, unfortunately, I want to explore a little more. So, in the next part, we're going to be doing a little more exploring of Kakarika Village. So, until next time, gamers.